Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to upgrade your Tron wallet to the new Clever app, which has just been released today. So let's jump in. All right, so I'm sharing my phone here. If you have been using the Tron wallet app, uh, there is a new upgrade available for this wallet. It's an iOS-based wallet. I believe it's also an Android-based wallet. And it's uh, it started out as a Tron-based wallet, uh, but it has expanded beyond that quite a bit. So you can hold Tron in this wallet. As you can see up there, I've got my Tron wallet active. But it also has a, a BTC wallet that you can use and an Ethereum wallet that you can use. So it's a very versatile iOS-based wallet and it's non-custodial. It, it stores the private keys on your device in an encrypted format, protected by your password. All right, so now that you've been using the Tron wallet for a while to manage your Tron tokens and your BTC or ETH, uh, it's time to upgrade to the new Clever app. They just released it today, All right? And then there's also a new Clever token that'll be available as well. So uh, let's go over and download the Clever app. All right, it's called the Clever Wallet, starts with a K. You can search for it in your app store. Let's hit get. All right, and there we go. Now I'm gonna take it from over here and move it over to my wallet folder. Just kind of push this other one out of the way. <laughs> All right, and there we go. All right, so we've got the uh, app installed and put in the right place on our phone. Now, uh, when we launch this app, we can create a empty blank Clever wallet. But what I wanna do is import my Tron wallet. So you're gonna need your recovery phrase for that. So when you set up the Tron wallet, you wrote down a 12 word recovery phrase or seed phrase. This is the private key in human readable format. And you wanna type that in when you open up the Clever wallet and it asks you to do an import. Uh, and if you don't have that, shame on you. But uh, perhaps you wrote it down and you've lost it. You can still get it if you're running the Tron wallet. So just open up your Tron wallet Go down to the bottom there and hit settings over in the bottom right corner. And uh, you can go to backup wallet and then hit uh, OK, I got it, right? There's a security alert. You don't want people to see your private key. But you'll be able to open it up and check it out and uh, find your seed there. And like I said, don't take a screenshot of it. Uh, write it down again on a piece of paper and this time make sure you don't lose it. You want to make sure that you get the seed, right? It's 12 words. All right, so once you've got that done, you can go over to your Clever app and open it up. There's the privacy policy. We'll go ahead and allow notifications. It'll tell you when you've got incoming and outgoing transactions, and it'll alert you to news and stuff. Go ahead and agree to the terms. Hit continue. All right, now we want to do a restore wallet. Uh, if you do a create wallet, then it'll be blank, it'll be empty, and that's fine if that's what you want to do. Uh, but I want to import all of the uh, tokens from my Tron wallet. So I'm going to hit restore wallet. I'm going to create a pin. All right, and now it wants me to uh, type in that 12 word seed, which I had written down. Make sure you type the words in order. All right, and of course, if you had set it up empty uh, before and put any coins in it, uh, that older wallet will be overwritten. But if you backed up the older wallet, then you'll be okay. Uh, they're just letting you know that if you had had this open before uh, and created an empty wallet, that uh, restoring the wallet will erase all of that data. But we're fine because this is the first time we've run this app. We don't have any data in here yet. So I'm just gonna click OK. OK, and there we go. Uh, we've got the wallet restored and all of our tokens are here. Now you'll notice that the top coins there at the top are uh, just giving you the current market prices. 
All right, and then you can scroll down a little bit and you can see that there's a Tron token section and there's an Ethereum token section. All right, and if uh, you can swap for tokens in this wallet too. If you look down at the bottom there where it has the dollar sign with the little arrows, you can tap that and you can swap one token for another. So you can choose any token that you have in the wallet. Uh, most of them are available uh, to trade. And uh, just tap the token, like the Tron token there. Uh, you can choose the token that you'd like to swap for. So, uh, for example, I might want to trade Tron for Link. Right? And then uh, you can just type in the amount of Tron that you want to uh, swap, like, say, 100. And you'll get a little bit of Link for that. That's not a lot of Tron. Okay, I don't have enough Tron in here to actually do a trade, but uh, this is how it works. All right, I could do uh, Clever for Link, 25%. Uh, and then you just hit next and you'll tell them which wallet that you want to send the proceeds to. So in this case, I'm going to use my little uh, address book there and I would send those over to my ETH account. All right. In addition to that swap feature, there's also a staking feature. If you'll notice there at the top, I can earn up to 16% per year. Uh, if I stake uh, Clever tokens. You can also stake Tron tokens in this wallet. So you can just tap the coin you want to stake and uh, select your account and then it would ask you how much you want to stake. And you'll freeze those tokens but you will earn rewards. And then you'll be able to unfreeze them whenever you uh, decide you want to liquidate uh, but while they're in the wallet, in your own wallet, where you control the private key, you'll be earning rewards on those staked tokens. So it's a great wallet for storing, for trading, and for staking. So uh, go ahead and check out the Clever wallet and import your Tron wallet into it so that you'll have access to all of your existing tokens. If there's any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. Don't forget, I do a live stream every Saturday night, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please join me for the live Q&A from Michigan, where you can throw out questions, and I'll do my best to get them answered. Hope to see you there. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me, and hope to see you again soon.